Uh, Kingy has literally just swam around that squid, hoping we can hook up pretty soon. Okay guys, so this squid took my live bait, so he is now becoming the live bait. Now that it's a nice fresh squid, he is hoping that these Kingies are going to take the bait. And it is a baby. It is a baby. That's tiny. <laughs> I've never caught a squid that small. G'day legends, in this uh, episode it's a bit of a montage of about three separate sessions that I've had over at Port Hughes on the northwest side of York Peninsula over the past, I guess, month. The first session was, well, a little bit wet, so there's not a huge amount of footage. Caught a little bit of fish, um, uh, I then went back a few weeks later in a bit better conditions, um, some fish, some squid. Hope you enjoy this. Yeah, head into the action. Too much len uh, water on the lens. Just uh, arrived at Port Hughes. We've got a pencil float on with some gents and it's being played with. Got some uh, pilchard block burley. Yeah, so we've got Tommy. I really just wanted to catch a Tommy to put out on the on the squid there. I mean, I'm, it's not great, not huge Tommy, but perfect size for a bait. So that's good. In the water, we've obviously done our job. Just shove him in there for a sec. Get out our spike. Come here, buddy. Just uh, get him on the spike, so just through the head. Try not to spike yourself. Just trying to get it up through the tail. He's uh, he's a pretty perfect size for this squid rig. He should be dead now, he shouldn't be flapping around. And we'll just wind this in just slowly, just in case there is a squid following and I'll put him out can't see anything behind it so I might just leave it for a little bit longer and we'll pick up this fish that we've hooked holy moly <sighs> nearly took my rod over oh I dropped him again might have slightly too big a hooks for these little ones Let's see if we can hold this one on just a baby <sighs> I mean it's big enough it's 16 17 probably centimeters it's going under now. Hopefully there's a fish on it. Small Tommy. They're still big enough to, to eat, for sure. Not, as I said, not the, uh, not the largest of specimens, but you're going to feed off that. Tommy that's stuck on these oh only just <laughs> and only just stuck on these gamakatsu hooks I've got another Tommy here just try and get him over because they seem to be dropping pretty easily these circle hooks just got him quite good I think so I'm sort of happy that I've changed over to those again not the biggest Tommies I've caught but you've got a couple of fillets off them up and over just lift him up and over not huge but not not the tiniest and those uh, gamakatsu hooks doing a fantastic job radio legends we are at port hughes jetty Hope the wind's not too bad for you. I've got the foam cover on. We've got a bit of a plan today. So we've actually fished a bit further down the jetty than we normally do. Um, what we're trying to do today is uh, go for some squid, catch some tommies, um, and also look at putting a tommy out of under a balloon as a live bait. I heard a few rumors that there might be some kingfish around and who knows what else we might catch. So we've got a, a size six circle hook ready to rock and roll on a live bait on the bigger rod. Um, and um, yeah. Uh, we've got some uh, opportunity to catch some fish. I've literally just flicked out the um, the light rod with the uh, uh, Z-Man paddle tail and had a few fish followed in. So it looks like there are some Tommies and or garfish out there. So we'll get the burley in the water and we'll see how we go. As many of you know, from a burley perspective, I do love using the, the cat food because it's got pilchers and stuff in it. But uh, the general store just at the uh, end of the jetty here, they do some really good uh, uh, burley, burley, uh, uh, packs two kilo 
I think they're 1095. Um, so I'm just going to put some holes in this and actually put it in my um, my wash bag here. Um, and that should basically last us the whole session. If not, worst case scenario, I do have some more cat food with me, but uh, hoping we're not going to need that. So we just got the burly bag out, and I was uh, just winding in my um, my Z-Man soft plastic, and I saw. Uh, here we are here, the Z-Man soft plastic. Tiny squid chasing it. Obviously I didn't hook it because it's just got the single hook and it's a tiny squid. And then I just saw uh, probably a one to two kilo salmon just come up and smash the squid. So we could be in for some fun here, guys. Um, uh, obviously let's get in the water and uh, yeah, catch some of these liveies and see if we can throw a live bait out. I'm excited, hope you are. All right, this is tiny but it is literally the only livey we've caught thus far. All right, and then we're gonna let him out. I'll turn this ratchet off, where's that? Yeah, he's swimming. Just got some um, hand reels. Let's get them out as well. Get this other float as well. This one's got the really blue glow white tiger prawn. So my two of my favourite ones. Well, I'm not going to lie, it's been really slow. There's uh, plenty of garfish and tommies, I think, around down by this burly cage, but um, we're just not getting a lot of action. No, nothing on the uh, the squid floats yet either. Nothing on that live bait, not even a touch. Brought it in just before and still swimming around freely. So yeah, we'll uh, come back if there's some more action. We finally caught one of the small uh, garfish down there. Unfortunately, he's just under 23. Oops, from the bottom of the snout. So he's got to go back. Otherwise I would have used him as a live bait, even though he looks a bit stunned. No, he's starting to swim now, maybe. We have been told by one of the locals and he was looking in the water what I thought were, were potentially larger salmon do apparently kingfish, ratty kings. Hopefully there's some bigger ones around. I'll put a, on the, on the balloon out here, I'll put a full squid head. Uh, one of the ones we had from our Kangaroo Island trip that we had in the freezer. So it's, uh, they haven't been hanging around far from the jetty. Obviously the kingies love their structure. So yeah, just hoping that that's um, hoping that that's going to go off. Uh, in the meantime, the sun's starting to set, so we might be coming into a period for some squid and you know tommies and whatever else. All right, kids, we tend to do this a lot. Um, we've got a squid, um, and he is on by one candle, and it is a baby. It is a baby. So, you know what we're going to do, guys? We're going to try and catch one of these kingfish and we're going to put that out as a bait. So we've got another squid. Um, I didn't record bringing it in because literally, uh, I didn't record bringing it in because literally it was just as I was about to pull it out of the water. Um, so really close into the jetty. Um, but that Inku Red Devil strikes again. This one's a little bit bigger, so we'll keep this buddy and um, we'll keep having a look to see if we can get some more squid okay guys we've got another one feels tiny it's tiny that's tiny <laughs> i've never caught a squid that small that is insane like my hand that is insanely small he is going to go back he did take that fairly well but uh yeah, I'm sorry, but I have to throw that back. In the background, you can see the sun going down. Um, we're squidding. We've still got our livey out on the balloon out there. I'm not sure if you better see that. Uh, it's about middle of the screen now. You probably can't. We'll try and keep the video quality up for you guys. But uh, yeah, no fish. I don't know where the Tommies or that are. Coming out of the water now. And over the side. They're not very big, are they? 
take him over here for you so you can actually see him in the light so yeah not not huge but i guess if we get four or five of them we've got a bit of a feed just that smaller size again really not all that big but again if we can get a few of them we'll get a feed um obviously anything smaller i would throw back as i did with that other one but um yeah well hooked on the crown we'll get him in the bag and keep squidding he's got it he doesn't want to let go about the same size as the others what do they say what do they say about these ones they're good eating size Oop. that uh Rui blue glow strikes again quite happy with them i did actually catch a few uh, uh drossen in the york peninsula a few months ago on them when i first got them as well at night time so they seem to work well on the york peninsula at night i was really wanting the inku dynamite white that they are sold out so this is uh one that i thought would be good for night time only literally just arrived we're on the end of the pier we've got a squid head out under the balloon we'll set up for some other fishing um, as well uh, Kingy has literally just swam around that squid hoping we can hook up pretty soon <laughs> we've caught a reasonably sized gar and we've got him out just as a live bait I've taken the balloon off because I thought maybe the balloon is I don't know freaking the freaking the kingies out or whatever so he's just sort of you know swimming up and down out here you, you wouldn't be able to see him on the camera but he's definitely kicking so hopefully some of those distress signals catch the lateral lines of the the kingie and they take it I, I just really don't know why else <laughs> we haven't hooked up yet okay guys so this squid took my live bait so he is now becoming the live bait now that it's a nice fresh squid, he is hoping that these kingies are going to take the bait. That was a battle. I have never battled a squid like that in the past. Reasonable size one. It's probably a little bit bigger than the ones we were catching the other night. That's a baby. What's good about it is that it's probably a better bait. So I'm actually going to swap him over, get this bigger one in. See the difference in the size there. So we'll uh, keep this one for eating. Rightio guys. <laughs> uh, this little bugger was after my live bait squid as I was bringing it all in. Um, so just change over to the Inku. So not too bad to finish the session with three squid. Awesome bit of fun. So I hope you enjoyed those uh, little bit of a montage match together of those three different sessions. Give us a like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell. It's really important, helps the channel uh, because uh, if you watch the videos as soon as I release them, that really does help uh, with getting them spread. So I appreciate everyone's support.